Hey guys, this is Lion of South Asia. Today I have a project for my car. I came to Kenny's Yupo and so that I can uh, get a roof rack for my car because I cannot find a roof rack for this model. It's a Toyota Sienna 2004 CE and they didn't come with a rack on the top, no mounts for it. I have to DIY it. I have to DIY it, so bear with me, I'm gonna do this today. Alright, so I'm in the yard and I came late, I only have 30 minutes. <laughs> you need to bring your own tools. They charge you $4 to get into the yard and yeah, let's go find my car. The area is uh, organized in rows and A and B. Uh, if you look up Kenny Upo's website, they will uh, it tells uh, the website tells you where your car might be. You just have to type down the information of your car, the model number, the year, and it comes up. I found a Sienna, uh, and also it has a rack on top, which is pretty good. Now I just have to figure out how to take it out. I don't have much time. Okay, I went back to get my tools and it's time to rip. I ran out of time. I'll try again tomorrow. Okay, this is day two. Second try. Let's go. So the way you do it, take this off, is pry this outside part up like that, then this side up you will hear a click unclick uh, and then you pull it this way with this it's simple you just pry from the top in like this you can just get it in i'm scratching it but it doesn't matter to me if you have a better tool, it will go in easier. It will be easier job. Actually, it comes off easier if you push it from this side. You use one of these bits to remove these. So the corners are removed. Now it's time for the center one. Remove these two first, then remove this. All right, it's all removed now. I took a picture of all of these, so I know where they're placed. So when I'm making new holes for mine on my car, I know where they go. They give you this nice trolley you can carry your things on. Sweet. There's another Sienna with a different kind of rack, but I'm not gonna bother with this one. We got all the parts, it's time to go home. It's raining outside, so I don't wanna fix uh, fix the um, fix the rack today. Okay. All right, it's finally time to put the rack on the roof. Let's go. So what I'm doing here is aligning uh, the rack and marking it up. I looked at the old picture that I took from the old car. Then using this to mark the mark the car. I'm using one fourth inserts for these I need a 3 8 bit go nice and slow don't push too hard don't want to poke through all the way Okay, the hole is done. You can see. Now, to make sure it doesn't get rusty, I'm gonna spray it. With this.
nice and thick. There we go. Now you put this in all the way. You put it in like that. And then you pull it. I mean pinch the thing. It's very soft, so you don't have to press it very hard. And if you cannot, cannot press it anymore, it's done. There it is. Inserts. So there's a nib or knob is sticking out. This thing is not letting it go in all the way. I have two options. Remove the knob or make a hole, extra hole to fit it in. I think I'm going to remove the knob. So what you do is just remove this rubber and then chop this up. I tried with the knife. It could be done, but I, don't, I cannot wait anymore. I'm going to use this. There it is. Gone. Okay, time to put this in. Okay, there we go. Nice and solid. These two go in there. So I ran out of rivnuts, so I decided to buy one of these, these are called well nuts. They seal, they use mostly for marine projects. Let's try this for this last one. The well nut was a bad idea, should have used just rivnuts. Now I have to glue it, glue the well nut together to the, to the car. It's all coming together now. I just screw these in. Screw this panel in. I have to just screw these two screws in. And it's about to be done. By the way, the well nut, I had to use epoxy on it. And I had to buy a different, uh, different screw for it. Different bolt. Because the one I had wasn't long enough. Now it worked. Looks solid. I'm gonna find out after a month or two and I'm gonna find out if it leaks or not hopefully not inshallah I have to put these in I first have to figure out which one goes where so this one they just clip in if this is the right one they just slide in and it's in just make sure this yellow plastic piece is in this piece, the big one, before you clip it in. Or else this won't catch and it's gonna be loose. There it is, all done. If that helps you in any way, just make sure to press, press the like button and subscribe for more videos like these.